Hit nice. Yeah, so today we are shooting my 6.5 Creedmoor Mossberg Patriot that I mounted into an MDT chassis. It's an LSS Gen 2 chassis. Uh, it needs an AICS magazine and it's completely ambidextrous as you would expect. Uh, I mounted an uh, AR-15 pistol grip, a buffer tube and also a buttstock on it. And uh, the buttstock is a Magpul and the buffer tube is made by Spikes. It needed a little tweaking. Uh, the optics are uh, primary arms optics. Uh, they are 18x. Uh, pretty large main tube. I think it's a 30 millimeter main tube. It's a 50 millimeter uh, aperture on it. It's first focal plane, of course, and it has the advanced combat sighting system radical in it, uh, which makes it very nice. Uh, yeah, we are shooting at 300 yards. And uh, we're going to see well, you know, what we can accomplish. I have some hand loads here. Uh, we worked out the harmonics of this rifle and it's uh, shooting fairly well. I believe the rifle is capable of one MOA. And uh, let's just see you know, what we can accomplish here today. Uh, a couple of friends are joining me. And Bradley is doing the honors of shooting this thing today. He's pretty good at hitting at 300 yards. Yeah, the barrel is a 20 inch barrel and it's a light fluted barrel. It's also threaded uh, for a suppressor and I do have a suppressor coming for this gun and uh, we'll be shooting some subsonics out of this here shortly. So enjoy. So the ammunition we are using today are match grade hand loads and we're using the Hornady ELD match 130 grain bullets and uh, we are using 40 grains of Lyant Reloader 17 powder. And uh, the ogive of the bullet is set back about 10,000 from the lands. Hit, right? Yeah. Hit, nice. So looking at these groups here, we measured about six inches at 300 yards. So that will be two inches at 100 yards, right? So that's two MOA. So pretty good. I'm pretty sure it's mainly operator and uh, the gun is capable of probably doing, uh, you know, half that. So more to come. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.